welcome to Sitia, the eastern part of Crete Island. Now, Crete Island is the biggest island in Greece. If you know anything about Greece or if you don't, get the information now. Greece is a country that is filled with so, so many islands and each island is unique, beautiful and special. So if you're planning a holiday trip to Greece, do a little bit of digging, do a little bit of research and find out what you really love and the type of things you want to see. But trust me, all the Greek islands are beautiful and there's always something special for you to do on the island. Okay, so a frequent question we always get is, what can I do in Greece? Is Greece safe enough? Are Greek people kind? Are they nice people? Are they welcoming? I'm going to answer the, those questions to you as we go through this uh, video for you sorry i'm gonna answer those questions for you as we go through this video okay so today we are traveling all the way from the west part of crete island to the east part of crete island so that's a long trip so we're going from hania down to Sitia. Okay, so right here we're already in a hotel. If you've seen the previous video, you've seen the road trip. So if you want to watch the road going all the way from west to east, you can go back and check that video. So right now we are in a hotel. We stayed in a hotel called Itanos Hotel in Sitia. And that hotel is situated in a beautiful place now look this is this is a free advert okay nothing is paid for i live in the country love the country so i just love to just share with you if you look as a tourist or someone that is looking to visit greece okay so we stayed in itanos hotel and itanos hotel is situated around the port area you can see where i'm standing the photograph behind me that's the port and that's exactly where we are and the view from the hotel is absolutely amazing they have their rooftop uh roof roof Top. what's up what's up with me today okay so they have the rooftop uh, pool so the swimming pool is on the roof of the building and the view there is spectacular okay it is so beautiful I got a clip of that but I don't know what happened so many clips and I couldn't find that so I apologize because you know you, you can see that so this is what the outside when you step out of your hotel this is what it looks like restaurants souvlaki joint well if you're visiting greece then you should try souvlaki souvlaki is similar to what uh shawarma and it's just a street food and a traditional uh, grill and uh kebab and yeah, stuff like that i'm just trying to mention some things that are kind of similar to souvlaki so you find cafes where you can drink your coffee so and all of that there i'm showing you the name Sitia is a very beautiful place and talking about safety in Greece, Greece is a very safe country to be in, okay, because, come on, 9 million registered, it's very difficult for a Greek person to pull up and want to do something nasty, I said difficult, and humans are humans, but I'm saying very difficult because it's easy to find them, everybody is in the system and all of that. So Greece is a very safe country. Let me quickly answer the question as you're looking at the streets of Sitia. Let me quickly answer the question of are the Greek people nice people or are they welcoming? How do they treat tourists or how do they treat strangers in general, non-Greek people or persons? Yes, the Greek people are nice people and they're always willing to help. For example, if you're looking for a place, if you're looking if you're looking to get something, you're looking for a place to help, you can always stop by to ask any Greek person, they will answer you. Now, in Greece, they speak Greek, okay, the Greek language. So, so you might sometimes come across people that might not be able to speak a good English, but they will try their best if they can't. They we will hear them scream someone else's name, like trying to call the, the person that can uh, speak better English than them to come and help you so the Greek people are very welcoming and if you know anything about the Greek there's something they call philoxenia which is about welcoming strangers and being good and kind to strangers that's something that they don't take lightly so yes the Greeks are very nice and they are welcoming they see a lot of tourists all the time so it's a normal thing to be out there to help and support you and make sure that your trip and your stay in their country is a good one and the Greeks are very concerned about the kind of report you will take 
out as you're leaving the, the perception how you will see them so they're always very kind and helpful so yes you have no fear there if you want to have night life what you want to go hiking whatever you want to do you rest assured that yes your safety is um, guaranteed because everyone is nice and everybody is very helpful but there are also strangers in the country and all of that so sometimes someone might be rude to you and you maybe you might mistake someone that is non-greek to be a greek person you're like that person was i've seen it happen before hence i'm just going up but if you're talking about the greeks being how they treat tourists i will tell you that they are nice and polite and always there to help you in any way that they can back to the city of city and if you're watching this video and you have any other questions uh, I would like you to drop the questions in the comment section and I will answer them for you. Now I love the city of uh, City and now we're walking into the park and that brings me to another part of the safety. Okay, so if you are in this area close to the port area, this is the general parking lot where you stop and park your car. So we drove all the way from west and we uh, all the way from western Crete to the eastern part of Crete which is Sitia and we drove into this parking lot, found the parking space, parked our car and then walked to a hotel which is a very close distant and that's a lot of that that's something that is very common because you, you want to see things no you don't want to drive all the time and be glued to your car but it depends on where which hotel and what areas of Sitia you're staying like I said we stayed in a hotel that is called Itanos it is at the port and trust me the port is beautiful and one thing that is common with Greece is the port they always have lots of restaurants bars and all of that Suvlaki joints you know fast food joints and all of that so it is really really amazing we packed our car and went to a hotel slept woke up the next day started our day came a car your car is ev you can see everybody you can see thousands of cars here or hundreds of cars at least here i didn't count so i don't know if it's up to a thousand but at least <laughs> hundreds of cars and everybody's car is still in intact no breaking in nothing of sort even if you left something in the car you're still going to come back and meet it where you left it but i'm not advising that you leave valuable stuff in your car because even if somebody is not trying to break in that valuable stuff you've left in full display might tempt someone to do something so anyway this is the view from the uh port we had gone out came back and we were looking for a place to buy some stuff and we we're just walking around the port because the night before we were down at the port now the city here is a really beautiful beautiful city it is beautiful and there's just some special about city here city has a lot of quietness compared to the west now talking about hania hania is super super busy okay hania is super busy so i really love the fact that i visited a place that is a bit more calm and the, the, there's no much tourist there maybe the time of the year in september because this is september already but compared to Hanya, the, no, you can't in terms of the number of tourists and all of that. So for me, I really liked it that, okay, I can walk and have a lot of space on the streets. If I want to sit in the streets, I can just do that and so on. Now I saw this little park that they have and I really liked it and I wanted to show you here. You could see the first mayor of the uh, of Sitia and I just wanted to show you some of the things that you're going to see when you get to Sitia and you, um, if you're visiting the uh, square. Okay, I think the mayor's name is uh, Adonis, I think, uh, Patropoulos or I hope I didn't know that name and if you're Greek, rate how I said the name, if I got it, if I didn't correct me in the comment section okay so i just wanted to go around and see the other uh study on what's what it is all about and why they have this uh status uh, here at the square and i just love that they have places like this that people can actually just sit and relax you can even have like a picnic here you know 
you have the trees, uh, the palm trees, and you also have the green grasses, flowers, and whatnot going on. So it's a place that you can chill. But I noticed that they, they don't have nightlife here, okay? Because when we're out in the night, it was like everybody was just sitting in the restaurants eating something. If you don't want to eat, you just drink in there. So I didn't see like nightclubs and all of that, but people just hung out together. The kids walking and playing out late. That's something else I noticed because they have a lot of playing stuff, uh, outdoor park areas for the kids. So if you're going out with the kids, you just see the kids playing, the parents are sitting down, cooling off, uh, having a coffee or uh, food or something. Now, the Greeks uh, they also eat late, so you can it could be 10 p.m. and they're going out for dinner, they don't mind. Okay, so it's not out of place to see people out in the night out late, but the view is absolutely amazing in city like everywhere you turn to it is absolutely beautiful now another clip that i couldn't find is when we went to the area of city that it was like you're going up the mountains and the houses were up there you had to climb there's a slope like like a big slope and that was also beautiful so there's there's always beauty in the greek islands and there's even in one island going from east to west or north to south you will notice slight difference in everything okay so right now we found what we wanted to buy we're going back to our room so this is what the Itanos hotel looks like the little bit i was able to show you this is what the uh Itanos hotel looks like and they said breakfast you know so you wake up you go down you grab something to eat and all of that here is outside the Itanos hotel yes that's the hotel there the brown building and i'm just showing you the surroundings and um well so down you can see businesses different shops and all of that so even if you don't want to eat something from the hotel immediately you step out of the hotel to your left to your right and right in front of you they also have the internals restaurant right across from the hotel so you come out from the hotel you go across to see your internals uh, restaurant and they also have other restaurants na uh, next to it so you can actually drop by anyone eat something if you're not feeling it the next time you're hungry you can go to the very next restaurant there's just so much i love the fact that there's just so much options and you don't have to walk a very long distance from your hotel to get food or drinks and stuff like that i love the city and i just love this palm vibe that is going on and that is going to bring me to the next video that you will be seeing where we will be taking a drive from Sitia to a place called vile beach in crete so it's like the palm beach they have one uh, that is vile which is close to Sitia, and they have another one in retina area also that is a palm beach and when you're there you just be feeling the tropical vibes so much palm trees and all of that so that's another thing that makes the city of Sitia special in my own opinion i love the square i like the I, I don't I don't know if I saw anything in city that I don't like. I love the fact that Greece is a country where nature you're just so close to nature but well if you're not a fan of nature then well maybe Greece is not the place for you because they're still keeping everything traditional natural you know nature down to their products and everything so yes if you're up for artificial and all of that then maybe Greece is not the place for you but if you love nature you want to go hiking you want just anything Thing. you want to do the best beaches for snorkeling uh scuba diving boat trips just name it like I, I can't even i can't even start mentioning all the fun things that is there for you to do if you're in greece but like i said earlier in the video depending on the type of stuff that you really like then do a little bit of research ask your questions if there's something you like if you're looking to visit greece this year uh you can drop a comment in the comment section stating the type of stuff you like and we can actually recommend the island that maybe you should visit and uh where those stuff should be just right in your face but trust me whichever greek island you select whichever greek island you choose you will not regret it because the beauty is just something else you know it's a country that when you get in and you start your road trip or whatever you have to do touring the country you're just going to stop at some point and say man god is great he made everything beautiful for humans like 
it, it is amazing so right here i'm giving you a little bit of view of the beach okay this is what the beach looks like and here is also like a sports club where they all come to play each time we drove past this place i saw women men playing all together and um, i think that's amazing it's something to keep the youths busy also when they're not down at the beach or when they're not doing any other stuff they just go down there and they can play sports all together adult young ones and all of that it's amazing i love the unity i love the oneness i love the fact that you know like from having that general car park where everyone can just go park their car although build up houses also individuals also have their private uh, car parking which is domo but i love the fact that everybody just parks in that huge parking lot where everybody just goes park their car or take their car out and i also love the fact that they have the square you know the, uh, the port where they also decided to put some fun stuff for all the kids so in the evening you see all the kids are out there playing screaming running around that their parents are going for a walk people walking their dogs or cats and other animals the unity in Sitia is amazing i really love it and thank you very much for watching see you in the next one